In this world, people might say bad things to you or about you. They may disagree with you. They may be hurtful and abusive. They may accuse you, slander, backbite, and say the nastiest of things. Well, Allah tells us in verse number 33, in a beautiful way, that they said even nastier things about people who were better than you and I. And look at the advice Allah gave him. Allah tells the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. قَدْ نَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُ لَيَحْزُنُكَ الَّذِي يَقُولُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكِ وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ We know that it hurts you what they are saying. What are they saying? They called him a madman, they called him a magician, they called him a womanizer, they said he was after power, he was after money, they called him a liar, they called him a sorcerer, and the list goes on and on. And you know, he was the messenger of Allah. He knew he was the prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Still, Allah tells him, we know it's, hurt, it's hurting you. We know it has hurt you. We know you want to see them guided. We want you to know they don't belie you. They too know that you are speaking the truth, but the wrongdoers from among them are simply denying out of their pride. So Allah says, we know that what they say hurts you. But we want you to know they don't belie you. Deep down, they know you're right. They know you're an honest, upright person. You need to know the wrongdoers, they are just denying out of pride. Now, my brothers and sisters, yes, this is a beautiful verse and it's directed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But isn't the lesson for every one of us? Allah says immediately after that, وَلَقَدْ كُذِّبَتْ رُسُلٌ مِّن قَبْلِكَ فَصَبَرُوا عَلَى مَا كُذِّبُوا وَأُوذُوا حَتَّى أَتَاهُمْ نَصْرُنَا Messengers before you have also been belied and they were patient regarding what came in their direction and they were patient regarding the harm that they faced until the help of Allah came to them. Subhanallah.